Hello. Yes, it does shine in the UK. We've had months of rain. Anyway, this is the sun, so I'll come out to do another video. This one is to explain how to excel at innovation and social collaboration, which is what I've settled on and how to use my expertise is on this. Right, step one. Right, and this dodgy drawing, believe it or not, that's an eyeball. And then the idea is that's the view of the world. Okay, now if I've got a fairly narrow view of the world, I might not be able to see any possible solutions that are in front of me. So I feel stuck, hence those two crosses. The idea I get, excel at innovation, social collaboration by broadening my view. Okay, so if I broaden my view of the world, as denoted by the ticks, I get to see options and choices that weren't previously there, or I didn't see, and all I've done is broaden my view. So, to excel at innovation social collaboration, what I do, what I believe anyway, is what we need to do is develop very broad views of the world. Now the way to develop that broad view of the world is through empathy. Or empathy, or having empathising with a broad range of people. Empathy being to be able to get into the eyes or see the, eye, see the world through the eyes of others. So the more broader range of people we can see how, they, see how they see the world or get into their eyes, the broader our thought horizon or a view of the world will be, the more options we'll see and therefore the more innovative and more socially collaborative we'll be. Okay, so the question is, is how do we broaden our view of the world? I have two basic... Uh, spaces that uh, I've developed, that we've developed. Thank you, Ian. Sorry, <laughs> we've developed. Okay, the first one is to get into a space here where where we are free, we can rest from everybody around us or in our world trying to force their view onto us, and where we can rest from having to defend our view. Hence, the arrow is going out to other people. So, if we don't have to if we're not bombarded by other people's views and we're doing no defending, it's much easier for us to just be. And if we can just be, it's easier for us to spot people we can empathise with to broaden our view. Okay, so we have a space uh, that we host specifically designed to achieving that. Which we call, okay, the next space we have, this one here, this is a bit more of a doing one. So, for example, in here, these little circles here are all people, to make it real, say designing a new game. So they're, they're in, their job is they want to do is design a new game. So they're in this space. This space has the don't defend, uh, no, no one forcing their view onto them. And then around the outside, these uh, another more dodgy drawings. With, that's an eyeball, believe it or not. <laughs> and they're different people who have different views of games. So there could be parents, it could be different types of players, it could be uh, investors, uh, it could be people that sell computer games. They all have different views. And the idea is the people in the middle doing game design, as they're designing their game, they constantly seek to broaden their view and they go out and chat and talk to these people who are offering their view of the world as a way to broaden the view of the guys or the people designing the game. Okay, we call these this space empathy an empathy project space, and this one is an innovation space. And actually, the when we're actually doing a full a full Monty innovation, it actually blends the two, so both coexist. And essentially, you see our role as essentially hosting these spaces. So we host that to make sure that's a. a, a fairly stress-free zone and then we do this to to help encourage people to get into the eyes of the people around them to broaden their views so they can innovate something. So if you, we have projects that we're running you're welcome to join us on and we can also do them in-house uh, especially in organizations and the website is called myinnovationspace.com hopefully that all makes sense and happy to chat and I'll go off and enjoy this glorious sunshine. I hope you are too. Thanks a lot. Bye.